In this lesson, we're going to be looking at displacement and density. Our objectives, understand how to use displacement in volume problems. Understand the density formula. Our vocabulary, very simply, displacement and density. So we're going to focus first on displacement. Displacement is um, when basically if you have a, a box or some container and you put liquid in it, you can take you can take an object that is kind of strange shaped and if you drop it in that box you can see how far the liquid rises and that liquid um, changing height is known as displacement. That displacement is the height difference of the liquids. So what I have here is I have a box and we're going to say that I take this weird object and I drop it in the box and the water goes from two centimeters high to three centimeters high. If that's the case, the displacement is one centimeter because it went from two to three. So that means it rose one centimeter. Displacement of one centimeter. The displacement is also known as the height. Our base is still the area of the base of the container. So here it would be eight times four. It would be this rectangle here. So we would go eight times four for the area of the base, which is 32. We have a height, which is our displacement, of 1, so we're going to multiply by 1. So that's going to give us a volume of 32 cubic centimeters for volume. Okay, what we've done here is we've said we can take a weird shaped object, and if we drop it in a liquid, the amount the liquid raises is the height for finding volume, and the and the base is just the base of the um, container. We also want to look at something called density. Density is um, found with this uh, mathematical uh, equation. D stands for density. M stands for mass, and V stands for volume. Mass is measured in grams, volume is measured in cubic centimeters, and density is actually me measured in something called grams per cubic centimeter. Well, what we do is we just need to find two of these so that we can mathematically figure out the third one. So here I have an example problem. What is the mass of a block of aluminum with a volume of 60 cubic centimeters? So by placing these things into the problem, we can mathematically figure out the third one.
Alright, if there's any part of this that you didn't understand or you need to see again, make sure you pause, rewind, and rewatch, and bring your questions to class. Thank you.